So I'm using these um, uh, Diablo pr pruning blades. And uh, it's the first time I'm using a Diablo pruning blade that's not a conventional, uh, I forget what it's called, I guess a regular sawtooth pruning saw where you have the, the teeth and the, uh, the raker, kind of like what you would see in a bow saw. This blade, uh, let's see if we can see that through the camera here. This blade here is a uh, carbide tooth blade. And uh, I bought these thinking that it would last longer in the dirt when I go and I cut through um, the roots in the dirt longer than the other standard pruning blades. And I noticed that these blades, these teeth, I forget how many teeth per inch TPI these are, but they're really aggressive. And I noticed in wet wood that you need to clear the blade of wood chips or it doesn't cut very well. But maybe that's common practice, but I figured that out myself. So, already cut down some of this, but instead of sitting here and letting the saw do the work, if you rake it back and forth, as the saw is going, it clears the blade chips inside the cut hole. Where are we here? Here we go. So it clears these chips here to grab another uh, cut. So I guess I'll, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll cut this normally by no raking and see what happens. And then I'll, uh, the second one down, I'll use the raking action. I'm about halfway through now. I'm wondering how juice. Okay, so that's with no raking, a little bit of rocking, but um, it just took too long. So the blade wasn't being cleared out enough. So I'll, I'll do the same one and I'll show you the rocking. Just rocking it back and forth, clears the blade. Using the whole length of the saw blade. That down. And the cut is pretty even there. So this blade definitely needs to be rocked or um, push-pull method to clear the saw blade out. I figured that may be, uh, be helpful. Almost there, right? Probably gonna have to switch to my electric soon. Uh, push pull method. Yeah, I think that's the way how to operate this. But um, you can see the last chip, it really holds a lot of wood in those chips. I mean, the, uh, the rakers. So you want to clear that out. It's in there pretty good. So uh, I figured that would be helpful. Now I have to uh, clean up my, the rest of my mess that I made today. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone.